right what's going on everybody I think it's working well uh, just trying to still trying to get it set up I have tried very hard to um, get this to work on OBS or Streamlabs and I it's not working so I, I ordered a new capture card which will be here Wednesday so hopefully if this one's not working out too well next week will be better um, thank you all for joining me uh, we will be doing live streams on Mondays from here on out um, I will try to get one out every Monday um, if not you know it's just it's just very busy so but thank you all thank you all for being here so today we are uh, we're on Oak Hill and we're kind of celebrating a little bit got a hundred subs so thank you all very much for um, all that you do for watching for uh, commenting and liking the videos I really appreciate it but uh, today we're on Oak Hill so we're just going to get started and um, continue on with this farm this will be considered episode 2 for our Oak Hill Let's Play series um, got our worker out there planting and uh, I think I was I'm not real sure I think I was planting oat I'm not 100% sure we'll check that out in a minute but they are out of fertilizer so we gotta get some fertilizer down there and then uh, got a new field back here behind the farm area purchase we'll go and get some soil samples and um, and get that plowed up ready to be planted so I'm just gonna put all this fertilizer in the truck right here so we can go and refill that fertilizer tank that worker is out of fertilizer so do it this way for now and then um, I think I have a pallet of fertilizer somewhere I'm not 100% sure but I think I do y'all let me know um, well we'll get a couple more people in here uh, <clears throat> y'all let me know how the audio and video is working and actually is I hope the microphone is working yeah seems like it's working alright so oh it put out the gameplay sorry but let me know what the quality is like um, if it's bad uh, I do apologize like I said I'm having to stream it from the PS4 OBS and Streamlabs is just not my friend right now um, of course I did buy a cheap graphics card so now I went and bought a better one it looked to be a really good one a decent one at least am I gonna okay thank you so <clears throat> hopefully it gets better um, so I am streaming from the PS4 right now and only had um, 3.9 megabytes per second upload speed so hopefully it's not too bad it doesn't seem to be too bad but we're going to do it anyway I'm going to hang out here and keep it going as long as I can and hopefully everything turns out alright <clears throat> Whoopsie. Oh. Well, I can just grab them out of the side. I don't have to open it up, I guess. There we go. We got it going in there now. This might take a few bags. What? What? I well, wasn't supposed to go that way. <laughs> but um, eventually, I will. I just want to get rid of these bags for right now. We'll get the uh, front loader attachment back on the Massey here, and uh, we'll get a pallet of fertilizer to refill this in the future. But for right now, I want to get rid of these bags. Is it full? No, not yet. It 
and I know the timing of this um, live stream is kind of awkward to be a 10:30 on a Monday, but I have Mondays off work, so and where'd that bag go? And um, you know the family is out at school and work, so this is actually the best time that I have to be able to live stream because it's nice and quiet there's not any background noise going on so it's just the best time that I can do it at the moment and who knows maybe in the future we can get some different live streams at different times just have to see how things go but with being off work on Monday and the family at you know work and school it just works out better But thank y'all all so much for joining the channel, for subscribing, and liking the content that I've been putting out. It's a, really makes me feel good that people are actually enjoying stuff that I am doing. It's a pretty nice feeling. So I right, I didn't see. Let me jump back in there. All right, so we're planting canola. All right, and. Uh, this fertilizer might make it through the rest of this field maybe we'll have to go get some more we're gonna go get some more but um we're gonna run over here I think I had that other worker hired doing the um cultivating on this field over here so we need to get him started back up yeah <clears throat> So we'll run over here and get this one started back up. And what was I doing here? Was I... Let's see here. Alright. Let's go get them started up down here. See two people in here. I appreciate y'all joining me. Thank you. Where do I want to start you at? Looks like you're going to be going this way, so... Do a couple passes right here to get him started. I think I was making two passes around the outside when I left this, but... Oh, well. Get out of the trees. And I think I'm going to, going to go ahead. Um, I wanted, I installed a new tractor from the mod hub that I think would go good on this farm. So I think I want to go buy it, and then we can get started. What in the world just happened there? Uh oh. Are we... Okay. Yeah. There's, there's no collisions on the okay we can go straight through the straight through the edges there wonder why it went did that oh man didn't turn my phone off let's try it from this side wonder why that worker acted that way I could have sworn did I hire this worker and it, he was like all the way there to the middle I don't know maybe the, I didn't save the game when I left it maybe I don't know it's pretty weird but let me check the stream health real quick it says excellent so uh, the audio streams currently bitrate is zero But the stream health is excellent. What's the audio sound like? Get rid of 
let me try to fix this real quick you guys I don't know how to change that I apologize I'm trying to fix the audio let me see if y'all can even hear me If y'all can hear me, it says the audio stream's current bitrate is zero. I am not very technical savvy, so um, it says it needs to be at 128 kbps. So I don't see where I can go change that. It doesn't give me an option. Let me see something right quick why is this okay so there's that y'all forgive me I am new at all this I've tried test streams and really no way to know how it's working right now second oh. okay so it is working it sounds decent anyway <clears throat> all right so I'm just gonna run to the store um, I'm just gonna trust that everything's working fine actually we're just gonna access access the store from right here let's go and I want to see what this tractor can offer us let's go over here there's one this is the the lizard tractor the 445 DTC this one only has 45 horsepower what options do we have for horsepower none that is all you get out of this thing Oh, 600. Oh, that's just the beacon. So, you can get a front loader attachment on it, but it's only 45 horsepower. I don't know how much that will actually benefit us. Here is another one. And let's see the Ursus. Uh, configuration wheel brand wheel sub engine setup what's the highest we can get 52 horsepower hmm I mean we could use it to you know pull uh, do the front loader work and stuff like that come on get it in there There we go. Hmm. Yeah, so I don't know yet what I want to do with that. Let's see. <clears throat> we could try to do the whoops do like a blue can't do blue on that one. I'm kind of thinking like a kind of like a Ford tractor look. But 
can't use that cabin. One second, guys. Sorry. I'm trying to figure out what to... That don't look bad. I kind of like that. Wheel brand is... You know, that's good. Wheel setup's good. Design. Yes. Weights. Let's see here, too. Where's the weights going at? I don't know. But, I like that tractor. I think that would be a good fit for us. 52 horsepower. We'll do some... Um, Oh, thank you, Mike. I just saw the comment. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah. Use it to ride around and do our uh, soil samples and such with and use the front loader attachment on it. So, alright. There it is. Okay. Yeah, the comments are taking a second to get from the PlayStation to my live uh, stream studio part on the computer. So it takes it a second, so y'all forgive me. Alright, so let's shut this off. Let's go. Oh, you're about to go in the water. Careful. And he's missing some spots, so. Ooh. Ooh, we're shaking a little bit. <laughs> But, I thought this would be neat. Um, hold on. Let me, that's kind of loud. In my ear there. Where's the vehicle volume? It's already down to 40. Let's try 30. But, um, yeah, I thought it'd be kind of neat to get some older, you know, different styled equipment for, for this series. So, that's why I'm getting this stuff here but we're going to run this down to the farm we're going to pick up our scout and go down to field 113 that I purchased at the end of uh, the first episode for this series and get our soil samples done and then I got a plow in mind I'm going to go and purchase a plow which will probably have to pull with the Massey and uh, we'll get it plowed up and ready to plant and we still got a spread lime in the other field, um, field 43, I think, the one that's being cultivated right now. So we're going to go and take care of that. <clears throat> this is a pretty neat little old tractor, though. Kind of fits this area, I guess, and this farm. Fits it pretty well. Just not going to be the workhorse, you know. It's uh, only 52 horsepower, but... We will, uh, we'll make do. The stream quality is actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I was getting kind of nervous right before we started because I was only getting 3.9 megabits, uh, of upload speed. So I was really worried about what it was going to be and it doesn't seem to be acting up too bad so that's that's good news and um, I did uh, I mentioned this earlier I purchased a new capture card so uh, my new capture card will be in Wednesday so hopefully that will fix my issue with OBS studios and we can use that either that or Streamlabs I haven't decided which one I'm going to go with yet um, I'm probably going to be OBS because OBS, even with this cheap capture card that I got, even with the issues that Streamlabs has been giving me, OBS seems like it wants to work, but then it just kind of, after I get to doing a few things, you know, it just starts kind of fizzling out and freezing and then it just kicks me off. And PS4 Remote Play is not, Streamlabs kicks that off immediately. I can't get it, that to work. Um, it worked for a minute on OBS that way, but uh, yeah, this internet's really kicking my butt. 
and where I'm located I've got the best internet that they offer out here so I'm kind of stuck with it I can't get anything better right now because they do not offer fiber optic out here just yet so but we will get there one day um, just doing what we've been doing we've already reached a hundred subs which is amazing um, I haven't really been paying attention to the sub count until I hit a hundred I was like oh wow we're already at a hundred and it's a, it's a good feeling so we can only get better from here and that's a fact <clears throat> but thank y'all so much for joining me on this Monday you know it's not the best time for a live stream but thank y'all for taking the time and coming by and checking me out alright we're almost there y'all probably wondering why did you pick a farm so far away from the store well if you've watched any of my other videos in the past I have mentioned I usually sorry I'm starting to clog up I usually like to purchase a, a farm or the land as close to the store as possible but with this one you know starting from scratch I went with the you know the best one that I could with the money if that makes sense you know I was trying to find the best land at the best price and so that's why I chose this one because we were able to work with a little bit and get enough money to make everything happen all right it's not a bad little tractor let's open that up and I gotta figure out what I did with the scout I don't know if I put it in there yep there it is can we get around that truck sorry if the camera moves around a lot too um, when I back up the analog on my controllers kind of messed up so every time I go and reverse it makes the camera go up <clears throat> All right, so I believe 113 we have to go down this road. Woo, hello. Hey everybody, what's going on? Thank y'all for joining me. We see five in here now. All right, so 113 is back here. Open that. little dip alright so let's see here yep back here hey Mateo how's it going thank you for joining us how's your day going oh that's a fence right there hang on alright yeah Huh. So there's a fence there with no post on this end. Okay. Well, we'll just scoot around that. Alright, so we'll unfold this and we'll take our soil samples here and build 113. It's the field that I just purchased at the end of the last episode, so. That's good, Mateo. Oh, snowing, huh? We're wrong button whoops wrong button where are you located at where's it snowing you do not have access to this land what are you talking about I purchased this piece of property <gasps> okay so that explains why the cultivator wasn't where it was when I left it we purchased this property and now it's gone so now I gotta borrow money I was wondering why I had so much money. Alright, so this is the first time I'm having to borrow money on this series. Ooh, a little too much. I was wait, trying to wait until um, we had to buy a harvester. I was going to borrow money for that, but that's alright. This is a good investment. There we go. Oh, I did the wrong one again. 
from Canada. Well, wow. I'm in Florida, so I don't ever see any snow. It's all sunshine and rain here and the occasional hurricane. <clears throat> Those are fun. Yeah, hurricanes are a blast. It's my equipment. This is the Ursus. Uh, dead gummit. The Ursus C360. We have a uh, Massey Ferguson doing some planting right now and the Fiat 1300 doing some cultivating on our other two fields. <clears throat> All right. Get this done. Hey, we got a like. Thank y'all for liking it. If you haven't, please go by and like the video. If you stop by for just a second, go ahead and like it before you leave. I would have greatly appreciate it. It's first actual live stream that I'm that and just I've done a couple in the past that are just kind of testing them out. You know, this is the first official live stream. Yes, I am on console. Um, I am on PS4. I'm actually streaming from the PS4 right now because of, um, well, OBS Studios and Streamlabs are not my friend right now. It's not working. I got to get a better setup for that, and it, it'll be here Wednesday. Getting a new capture card, so all that will be taken care of. Do I like the PS5? Uh, I don't really know. Um, I'm just kind of. I mean, I can't even get my hands on one right now, even if I wanted to. Um, I'm just going to let it do its thing for a little bit, and y'all get one down the road when it's not so crazy. And, of course, you know, they'll have the bugs and stuff that they'll have to fix on it. So, when it all gets settled and running good, I'll, I'll get me a PS5, I think. If not, I will probably end up getting a, a PC. Hey, country boy, what's going on? How you doing today? All right, so the oil samples are, are taken and completed. They're sent in, so they're probably back already. I didn't see the little notification if they did come back. We'll just shove this thing right here. And then, uh, hmm, let's see. Oh, my phone's still going off. All right, so let's go into here and see what soils we got in field 113. And it's all loamy sand. Just like the other two fields here. All right, so now I gotta figure out what I did with the fertilizer, or the lime spreader, which is over there. It said our worker was done. Let's see if it's really really working playing FS19 on PS5 on Griffin oh okay cool I love that map that's a really good map how you liking that PS5 country boy what's my favorite tractor brand well John Deere John Deere is my favorite growing up in uh, Texas we had John Deere's so kinda what I I always do that. It's kind of what I um, grew up with, so. Whoops. I'm just going to touch up these little spots that the worker missed, and uh, then we're going to hook up to the uh, spreader and get our lime spread on the fields that still need to be limed. There's a new map on the Mod Hub today. I think I saw that. Um, I didn't see what the map was called. But uh, I haven't had a chance to really check that out just yet. I kind of rushed on the Mod Hub a while ago to uh, 
install that Ursus pack. Because I really... What? What in the world? I wanted to get some uh, different types of tractors for this series. You know, smaller mat or smaller gates and roads. I needed some smaller tractors. All the tractors I have installed are huge. All right, that's not gonna get that. Okay, well we're just gonna move on. Let's go. Ooh, we're getting dirty. I need to think about a pressure washer. I'm playing on Greenlands. I haven't played that one yet. Um, of course, there's going to be a lot of maps that I don't get a chance to get to right away. Because um, all of this, the way I have to record and everything, it takes a long time. And I am <clears throat> married and I actually have five kids, so I don't get a lot of time on uh, gaming. So I'm doing what I can when I can. But it's still fun. My wife is not a big fan of this gaming channel. But that's okay. She's... She's getting more comfortable with it, we'll say that. So, now I know where or why. Because when I... Left this map this trailer was not there it was over there because I went and got some more fertilizer and a pallet of lime and it is uh, it's gone now so I gotta go get some more we gotta get some more lime and fertilizer uh, my career I am actually in construction um, I just recently changed jobs I was an equipment operator for a construction company here in town and um, I have since went to the county I work for the, the county that I live in now as an equipment operator but it's a little bit different I don't get to operate the big excavator and stuff that I used to at the old job I just kind of ride around in a truck now But it's alright. I, I I work four days a week now instead of six or seven, which is nice. And uh, get a lot of paid holidays. I actually get Good Friday paid off. Yeah. April 2nd, I have that day off, off work paid. Why am I trying to back in here? I'm trying to get the front. What? No. Hang on a second. Y'all forgive me if I seem lost because nothing is where I left it because apparently I did not save my game last time when I left here I'm trying to find this front loader attachment that I put in that other shed over there but it's back over here again so y'all forgive me <clears throat> oh you gonna make me read Mike <laughs> there you go uh, I can relate to that drove a truck for a living. I'm actually sitting waiting on dispatch, but I got my oldest son a PS ordered and I want us on the weekend to make videos together on FS something different. There you go. Yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be neat. I wish I could get my son in, into this game, but if it's not Call of Duty or Fortnite, my son's not too interested. That's cool. So you're over the road then, huh? You drive a truck over the road. Where's that truck? There it is. Alright, let's hook up to this trailer. And let's go pick up lime and fertilizer I hope I don't forget one or the other <laughs> I've been prone to do that I'll go to the store and have to get a couple of things and I'll get one and come back all the way to the farm and be like oh man come on I forgot to get the other <laughs> let's lift that up a little bit whoops stay on the road whoop stay on the road yeah my uh my dad and 
pretty much all my uncles on my mom's brothers they all drove trucks i would grown up as a kid we lived in texas but every summer break i was on the trucks with either my dad or one of my uncles and they hauled cars for a living so i've traveled from california to florida up to washington and been to a few of those northern states i haven't been to too many um do i like yes i do Woo! this is why they say don't text and drive <laughs> but uh yes i do like the precision farming dlc um although the soil sampling is kind of getting irritating a little bit if you know what i mean because like when you're recording it's like no one wants to sit here and watch you take soil samples but uh i do like it it adds a little more realism in it for me um and it and the way it saves you on fertilizer and things like that it i do like it yes live in central louisiana ooh louisiana but south of houston right now waiting for a load that was supposed to load this morning yeah i know that feeling but it got canceled yeah well thank you yeah i appreciate you stopping by and watching me i do appreciate it yeah why well, you can't don't want to don't want to watch and drive that could get dangerous <laughs> <clears throat> But yeah, I know the feeling. Um, one trip I remember in particular with my dad, we drove out to Oceanside, California, and was supposed to pick up a load of cars or a load of S10s or something. I can't remember exactly what load it was, but when we got down to the auction, the load of cars that we were there to get weren't even there yet. <laughs> so we we were in Oceanside, California for a few days waiting on that load to arrive so we can bring it back this way. So I know the feeling. Yeah, park. You gotta park where you can, man. You gotta park where you can. Uh, Mateo, I am right now. I'm putting canola in the ground, and then I had a plan of another crop that I was going to grow, but I can't really. You have to forgive me. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take a look at the um, selling prices and whatever sells at the highest point and whatever's the most if I can plant it that's what I'm going to plant um, I do want to get into some rye though I've never planted or harvested rye on this game and this map does have rye on it so we will be getting into some rye feeding sheep yeah I think yeah sheep sheep's easy to feed I, I like taking care of sheep they're pretty simple It's the cattle that um, I'm still trying to figure out on this game. Because, uh, like, I will have... I'll have to show y'all um, when I go back and record on uh, Ravensburg again. I got I kind of fast-forwarded some time, and I got it to where we're about to have to feed our cattle. So when I start the, the next episode of Ravensburg, immediately we're going to be feeding some cattle. But I got... They got everything, but their health is like going down for some reason. Uh, they're at 78% right now, which I don't understand why. They're getting fed and watered. I'm keeping the pen clean. So I don't know why it's doing that. Alright, so seed, or not seed, limestone and fertilizer. That's what we came to get. I hope I remembered. <clears throat> my favorite construction truck to operate huh um I, you know what I'd have to say the low boy um at this last company I was at I uh operated or I ran the low boy for a little while moving all the construction equipment around town so I'd have to say that was my favorite it was a Kenworth, um, you'll have to forgive me, I forget which truck it was exactly, but, uh, but that was fun, because I got to go around and basically operate every piece of equipment that we had, so I'd have to say that one was my favorite. I think we can do this, okay. Now, I want 
you ought to be my witness. Every time I go to pick up one of these pallets, it does some funky stuff. And it's not going to do it now because we're live streaming. And y'all are here to witness it, so it's going to prove me to be a liar or an insane person. Because it's actually working good now. Go figure. See, I could hide this on a recording, but we're live streaming, so y'all are, are a part of it. Yep, yeah, that one worked out perfect. Go figure. I guess it's just the way you grab it sometimes. If it's not on the forks the way it's supposed to be, it just kind of starts glitching. So, maybe that's operator error, huh? We got a little bit of herbicide there left. I wonder if I can... Come on. I wonder if I can fit that on the... On the trailer as well. <clears throat> hmm. Probably look funky, but I could probably... Put it on the top there. Uh, yes, I do have all the DLCs. I've got the, uh... The expansion, the uh, is it the platinum or whatever? So anytime a DLC comes out, I get them. Yes. Oops. This is probably going to look funky. I don't know if it'll work or ride, but we're going to put this right on the top in between those two pallets. Should probably buy a pressure washer too. Let's see here. Oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> Oops. Is there any chance y'all didn't see that? You know what? We're going to leave that there. I ain't going to worry about that. Yeah. Okay, well, Mike saw it. <laughs> I'm telling you, I could... Uh, I could do a video just on me loading pallets and it would be a... a it'd be a comedy episode. <laughs> uh... Yes and and no, Mateo. Um, there's some stuff. It, oh, I gotta close this up. There's some stuff in that DLC that I did like, and some stuff that just I could really do without, you know. But uh, yeah, I mean, I like it. The map seemed pretty neat, and you get a lot of implements and stuff with that DLC as well. So some of the stuff I am gonna start using. Um, I will start using some of it on this map. You know, like the uh, the loading wagon that comes in that DLC. I'll use that. I'm just not big on the electric tractors. I think that's about the only thing I don't like about that DLC. Uh-oh. We're struggling a little bit. But thank you all again for joining. Uh, thank you all for being part of the stream. This is fun. If y'all haven't already, please make sure you go and hit that like button for me. I would really appreciate it. I think when we get back, I'm going to buy a pressure washer. <clears throat> but we'll wait. Wait until I get all the most of the work done, then we'll wash it off. All right, Mateo. Thank you for stopping by, buddy. We'll see you when you get back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Been getting kind of flimmy here the past couple of days, so... Y'all forgive me if I have to kind of clear my throat from time to time. My time right now, it is 11.12 a.m. Yeah, she's getting a little dirty. 
It's amazing how we have a windshield, like where it's cleared out from the windshield wiper, but we haven't even turned it on yet. <laughs> it's magic. But yeah, we'll, I'll, I'll get a pressure washer at some point and we'll get them washed up. You're an hour ahead, so you're in Eastern time, huh? Yeah. It's lunch time for y'all. <laughs> Come on, car. I hope there was nothing coming. I didn't even look. I could have got T-boned right there. That happened to me once. Like, I think it was on Stone Valley. I'm not sure. I was pulling a load of uh, bales to the bale sale point, And I pulled out of the farm. And you know how slow those cars go on stone valley if you've played that map it sent my trailer the bell trailer flying like <laughs> i was shocked of how far the tractor and trailer went when that car barely even moving oh what's the horsepower on this tractor this one i th it's a hundred and something nope this one's 73 this one's 150 so the Massey's only 73 and then that one's 52 so when we go to get a bigger tractor we will sell one of these I think I'm um, not sure which one yet but we'll sell one of them because we only really need I think uh, two small tractors on a farm let's see here we're going to have to move that I might be able to get around it Oh, I didn't let the side ramps down. Oh, and we hit the trailer. You know what? I'm going to move this lime trailer out of the way. Oh, now we're causing chaos. Let's move this guy out of the way. I'm really trying to get used to using smaller equipment. That's why you all see all these low horsepower tractors and small lime spreader. I'm really trying to get the hang of it. Okay, so open those up and then let's take the straps off. Okay. Do I have a favorite map? You know what? I, I do. I have a new favorite map and that's Griffin, Indiana. That is my new favorite. Uh, before that, let's see here. I would have to say Lone Oak was my favorite. And then I really started falling in love with Bucks County. So it's really hard to tell which one of those two was my favorite favorite, but now my favorite map is uh is Griffin, Indiana. Yeah, I gotta swap things up every now and then. You gotta keep it interesting. That's why I'm doing a series on a European map, I'm trying to get off these American maps, do something different. Don't don't you fall off there. She's starting to bounce and wiggle like she's wanting to Is this this is the fertilizer. Okay, so we'll put this in here. We're gonna leave the lime out just a little now you don't want to come off of my fork. In fact, I'm just gonna carry the lime over there and fill up the trailer while we're while we got it on the forks. Sorry, y'all, this changing the camera so much. I want to do it from the first person view, but I really can't. I'm not going to lie. I should have put a weight on the back of this Massey. Uh oh. Mm hmm. Yep. Um, you haven't played Indiana yet. Uh, 
Anything I would change? Uh, maybe just the Fiat. You start out with a, a Fiat on that map, and I think you should start out with, you know, if not a John Deere or a Case, like a Massey or something, you know. Um, and the buildings, when you load into the map, there will be some buildings, like they're placeables, and they're like 68 to 70 slots on the slot count. And you can't do anything with them. You can't open the doors. You can't use them. You can't do any of it. So I would take those out. But that's a, that's about it. That's what I did. DJ said this morning TNT modding will be back on Mod Hub. So Bucks County will be back with the updates and all. Just won't have the crazy mods on which it was a fan of anyways. Oh. Well, that's good news, I guess. Because um, I, I love that map. And... I was kind of afraid, that's why I kind of put that series on hold. I'm doing a series on Bucks County right now. And I kind of put it on hold for the time being because, you know, I didn't I, I didn't know the whole story with everything that's going on. And I didn't want to cause Giants even more problems, you know, if I was putting that stuff on YouTube. So, uh, yeah, I just kind of put it on hold right now. I still haven't heard back from them yet. But if he's coming back on the Mod Hub, I guess I can just continue on with it. Hey, Farmer Taz. What's going on, man? Thank you. Thanks for making it. I appreciate it, buddy. How you doing? Farmer Taz is in the house, y'all. We got better hang on to everything. <clears throat> Who has a new map coming out? Oh, what in the world? Uh, I'm all right. I, I think I'm, I'm okay. You guys all right? Y'all all right? You good? I hit that fence right there with the invisible post uh yeah I don't think insurance is going to believe me on that one so we'll just continue on TNT okay he has a new map coming oh yeah I think I heard about that well that's cool I, I'm glad to hear you gotta be kidding me I can't tell the left from my right today y'all but uh that's good news. I'm glad to hear that because I like TNT Modding's uh, mods that they put out. They do some good work. Some great work. So I'm glad to hear that. <clears throat> so that's good news. We'll get the uh, Bucks County series started back up then. I don't even... I, I'll have to go back on that map and figure out where the heck I'm at and what was going on. Oops, I'm trying to read and drive at the same time. Y'all forgive me. Not too bad. Troubleshooting for a few in FS19. And starting to record it a bit. Love the Massey. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Troubleshooting for a few, huh? <clears throat> yeah, I'm I'm not too technical savvy. Um and actually if y'all know who John Modding is, um, He's kind of helping me out. I started my Discord channel, and this is how technical savvy I am with stuff. I tried to put a bot. You know, Discord has server bots. I couldn't figure it out. I, I got it started and got him in there, but after that, I'm lost. I don't know how to set it up, get it running, doing its thing, and what have you. So I, I asked John Modding to kind of help me out a little bit, and uh, thankfully he is. So shout out to John Modding. Thank you for your help, buddy. Appreciate it. Because most of this stuff is just kind of it's kind of past my my age group I think um, I'm not going to sit here and say things and pretend like I know what I'm talking about I really don't in this whole live stream situation like I've been lost from the get go <laughs> um, only way I know how to use a capture card is because I googled it that's how I learn how to do everything nowadays is just google The starting tractors on this map was just the Fiat. Um, hang on. This is the only tractor that you start with on this map, the Fiat 1300. And I did it again. Left button. Drummer L1. There you go. See, I've been playing Farming Simulator for two years now. I'm still having to teach myself how what button does what. Huh. <laughs> 
I'm really stoked that this is working out that the stream is uh, the strength is still excellent I was so nervous because when I was doing my test speeds this morning it said 3.9 megabits per second I was like oh no this is because I heard you want to stream with you know at least five at the least but I'm glad this is working. I'm excited y'all this is fun thank y'all so much for jumping in here and chatting with me this is great we will definitely do this more often and if I do live streams uh, Mondays like I said earlier is going to be the only days that I have to really do a live stream for now that may change in the future yes yes it is it's a trial by fire process you definitely learn as you go <laughs> yeah me and you both farmer Daz me and you both there are a lot of friendly people in the FS community and that's that's what I love about it you know when I started this channel uh, oh my what I started it a year ago when I, my very first upload ever and I was trying to do like you know America's Army Proving Grounds I was doing games that I really enjoyed playing at the time and that and uh, and it just wasn't working out there was no help really there's no one there to help you you know and the Call of Duty videos if y'all go look on my channel it's it's pathetic I put a few of course I'm not that great at Call of Duty anyway and those views are still in the single digits like nobody's watching it you can't get any help from anybody on any Call of Duty community it's just it's outrageous really and when I I fell in love with this game here I was when I first played it on my iPhone when it was FS uh, 17 so I got it on my iPhone started playing it and fell in love with it and then my son found the game actually um, on the uh, PlayStation Network he said dad look here's the game you play on your phone I was like let me see that so I never really put too much time into PlayStation before I found this game on PlayStation and now my wife hates it my god I mean, my son hates it too because now when I come home from work if he's playing Fortnite or something it's like alright son move over my turn <laughs> I got I got to play some farming sim, but now we share it and uh, it works out pretty well. And I get to record now and put all this on YouTube. It's, I just kind of started doing. It. I was like, you know, I'm going. Everyone else is doing it, and it seems like fun. I want to sit here and chat with people. That'd be fun to do. And the FS community has been a big help. So thank all of you guys that have helped me. I do appreciate it. Yes. Mateo, I am so glad there's mods too, buddy. Yeah, my... Uh. Yeah, she'll get up. Hey, we're going to have to delete that. My wife sees that I'm grounded. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But yeah, she... Uh, she's not too happy with it, but she... God love her. She puts up with me. She puts up with it, so... But I do try, like, if I am if I get home, I typically get home before she does. So I'll get home and try to, you know, record bits and pieces here and there. So, if, you know, that's why it may sound kind of weird on some of the episodes. Like, didn't you already discuss this? Didn't you already do this? But, you know, I'm having to go and come back and go and come back. But I honestly try, when she gets home, I try to get off and spend time with her and the kids, you know. I mean, you gotta you got to have family time, so... Um, I do try to even those out. Yes, she actually does. She works for the state. She is a uh, coordinator over breast and cervical cancer awareness for the state of Florida. So she she has she's a yeah she has her own office and everything. She never lets me forget it. And now that I went to the county, um, I was making more money than her, but now she makes more money than I do. <laughs> so. Um, I don't like to admit that, but it's only temporary though because I just started with the county, so I will be getting pay raises. So she won't be making more than me for long. But she does; she's a busy woman. That's a, that's for sure. And um, she actually has meetings with the governor of the state of Florida and well, the governor's office. I don't know if she's actually ever met with the governor, but she actually has to deal with the governor's office and all that. Yeah, happy wife, happy life. That is a fact, Rabbit Man. Welcome in, buddy. Hey, how you doing? 
Thank you for joining us. That is a true fact right there. If mama's not happy, nobody's happy. All right, well, I think my worker's taking a nap over there. So let's jump over there and wake him up. Oh, no, he just quit. All right, well, another one bites the dust. And another worker quit the job. <laughs> country boy wow actually <clears throat> truth be told she doesn't wear pants she she wears skirts mainly but she does she wears the skirt in the family that's the joke we use she wears the skirt in this family <clears throat> no it's it's a pretty uh it's a pretty oh i know you are i know you're playing buddy it's a it's a pretty even relationship you know we both we give and take we we do give and take but mama pays the bills see I don't I don't worry about the bills she does and she is a lot smarter than me she's a lot more mathematically inclined than I am so she handles all that so when there's a decision to be made financially it's her word and I take her word for it. It's the only reason that we make a living these days. If it was up to me, we'd <laughs> we'd be living in a box somewhere probably. But I'd still have a PlayStation and a PC. <laughs> but it'd be in a box. <laughs> oh man. And it's actually mainly because of her that we own our house. Um, I ruined my credit a long time ago, and. Um, she has good credit she has excellent credit and so of course my credit's better now I've been working on it. it's getting better but um, if it wasn't for her we would still be renting and renting here in Florida is not cheap I mean you're talking like been engaged five years congratulations funny story true story you know how long we were engaged for let's see I asked her to marry me and five days later we were in the courthouse getting married so I was engaged for five days <laughs> yes my kids are in school um, I'm probably going to give away my age a little bit here but I have a son who is about to turn 14 on the 27th of this month he starts high school next year thank you rabbit man thank you and I will and um, I had someone tell me because I was I never really paid much attention to the subs until I hit a hundred right and I was like oh wow we're at a hundred and then like the next day we were at a hundred and, and uh, he um, uh, a guy uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call him a buddy he's a really cool dude Argzy if y'all know who Argzy is Argzy Gaming on YouTube and uh, he said man the best advice I can give you is just don't worry about the subs don't pay attention to it just keep creating the content that you're creating and putting it out there and said the subs will come and that is very true so yeah thank you rabbit man it's it's a good feeling to have a hundred and um, yeah I'm just gonna keep on doing what I've been doing cause it's been working easy Mike shh shh we want to try to keep that a secret as long as possible but yes you're you're right it's between that <laughs> I thought I saw oh the yeah, others there's a patch there yeah I'm I'm really not that old I uh, like hanging around the gaming community community with the amount of you know teenagers and and young kids that are here it makes me feel much older you know what I mean but yes I am I'm I'll be turning 34 this year so I'm really not not too old not yet and yeah just being around a lot of the because I think uh, if I'm not mistaken John Modding the, the uh, guy that's helping me out with the uh, discord server bot on my discord he's only 13 I was like oh wow oh my god this is crazy you got a 13 year old yeah see I got this might shock y'all I have five kids I have a th 13 year old he'll be 14 on the 27th of this month 
I have a 12 year old daughter that will be 13 in July and I have a 10 year old daughter that will be 11 in April and then I have twin boys that just turned two back in January so I got twin two year olds <laughs> they're a blast Mateo you're in high school yeah, I miss high school kinda sometimes <laughs> COVID cases uh, they went down a little bit here in Florida but they are still kinda kinda up there I think um, I kinda stay away from all of that you know my life basically is work I come home from work I play a little FS19 I get off I cook dinner clean up dinner and go to bed and start the process all over again that's pretty much all I do of course I mean I do go to church we play I play the drums at my church and um, so I do that on Sundays and Wednesday nights but 23 and got a two-year-old son oh yeah congratulations country boy there's nothing like having a kid um, <clears throat> I know you know being that young it's kind of you know like whoa oh my god we had our son when we were 19 so I had my first son at 19 years old and it's been kids ever since <laughs> Rabbit Man's got a 13 year old and a 20 year old daughter. Wow. You're 51 years old. Hey. <laughs> no shame. No shame. A 20 year old daughter. So let me ask you this, Rabbit Man. My daughter is about to turn 13. Does it get worse? <laughs> I mean, it, it can't at this time because of what she's going through now. Does it get worse? Can you answer me that? Oh, you do school online sometimes because the COVID cases are so high? Yeah, country boy, I I hate to admit it, but I we did the same thing in high school. <laughs> A lot worse. Oh, great. See, I got two of them. I got a 13-year-old, and she's about to be 13 and the other one's about to be 11 so I got two of them to go through still this is great <laughs> God help me well we're almost done cultivating see this is why I like if I was just sitting here playing by myself and went, wasn't doing a live stream didn't have y'all to chat with this small little cultivator would drive me insane because it takes so long <laughs> like I don't even cultivate anymore if y'all watch my other series like Griffin Indiana I don't even have a cultivator I went and bought that John Deere the 2410 plow that's what I'm using I don't I don't cultivate anymore I just plow it all up yeah that'll get you in trouble country boy you take your dad's moonshine I made that mistake one time I never did it again Um, I am the microphone I'm using is the toner mic uh, the um, oh, don't get me saying the wrong thing it's a TC 20 I think from toner um, and most of my, I don't know if it's in this description but in all my videos in the description you'll see there's a link to toner and the uh, the mic I'm using I believe it's the TC 20 microphone and I just got a pair of uh, gaming earbuds for the headset part that I got from uh, five below <laughs> I paid five dollars for them and they they work just fine <clears throat> but yeah the toner mic it's a really really good mic um, but I got the one the TC20 uh, it's not the USB mic this one has better quality supposedly than the USB mic so I had to get the uh, what's it called the newer like the power adapter so the microphone is hooked up to this adapter this adapter is it's like a power supply it's plugged in by a USB type C cord I think is type C into the PlayStation and then I had to go and purchase a um, this 
the splitter for the controller to plug it in the controller and a uh, I forget what the plug is called but there's a plug that goes from the adapter and it transfers into like the little um, needle point at the other end that plugs into the controller you know but I had to buy the splitter for the controller because it wouldn't work I'll, I'll have to do a video on it and explain it that way um, because the splitter the plug-in for the mic only had the two little connectors on the prong so it wouldn't go straight into the controller I had to buy the splitter and plug in a the headphone separate than the microphone and plug in the microphone to the controller that way I hope I didn't just confuse everybody I kinda confused myself there <laughs> But uh, maybe one day I will do a little short video on that and show y'all how I got it set up. And the only way I know how to do that is, like I said earlier, I googled it. <laughs> and I got a little help from the sound man from our church. He helped me out a little bit too because this microphone is like set up for a, uh, like a, uh, well, you know, like a podcast. It's supposed to go into a sound system, but we got it worked out where I can get it in the PlayStation. So the mic, I think, was... I don't know. All in all, I spent over, a little over $100 on the mic setup, I think. Still in lockdown in the UK? Really? Hmm. Yeah, that's a bummer. Hey, our field's cultivated. Finally done, and you're all still here. It's amazing. Thank y'all. <laughs> oh, man. So we are cultivated up. We can uh, spread lime in here now. But what was in that other field? wonder if I... Yeah, we'll go cultivate it. I know um, Argzy was saying the other day that like whoops uh, I think I don't think their borders are still locked down I think I don't know if they opened back up or not but I know he was we were talking uh, the other day and he was saying it was in his live stream and uh, he was talking about how like there were some people there on vacation when the border shut down and uh, <laughs> they're from you know different parts of the country I can't remember where exactly but they uh, they decided to stay they got their citizenship and stayed and stayed where he's at which is uh, uh, New Zealand New Zealand's a nice place too man I would love to go to New Zealand what am I planting oh you did ask me that a while ago I'm sorry Mateo hang on let's see let's look here so I got canola planted in the one field already let's see what let's see what the prices are so wheat is highest in the winter, so it's still a little less than 726 for a thousand liters, 675. So see oats. I think we're gonna plant oats because we can. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can plant oats now. We'll harvest them in autumn, or no, in, in summer, and then we can sell them in the winter and make most of the money. Um, now as far as a quick sell item I think will have to like be sunflowers or something or soybeans here we go we can sell soybeans but will they whoops will they be harvested in time to sell no so that'd be something we have to hold on to until next year because you harvest them in the autumn and they're highest in the summer so <clears throat> probably going to do some oats in the next two fields maybe and we can still get straw from oats too so we can bell up some hay I mean uh, some straw and, and take it and sell it because every little bit's going to count on this this series here whoops I missed that whole corner oh well 
but uh, we got canola planted in that field over there so and this one we're definitely doing oats and I may change my mind by the time we get to field 113 and um, who knows anything could be planted in that one by the time we get over there but yeah I'm really liking this Massey Ferguson though um, I haven't used Massey in a while and I got this one on this map and I'm really really enjoying it it's turning out to be a good tractor any pets you mean besides the five kids <laughs> I'm just kidding uh, yes we do have a dog um, if you ask me what type of dog it is I really couldn't tell you I know it has a little bit of beagle in him um, it was actually my wife's dad's dog and after her dad passed away we brought that dog home with us so he's still a little skittish and still a little shy um, her dad passed away a few months ago but um, yeah just one dog right now So yeah, liming is also becoming one of those things on here that you really just don't like to do. Although it hadn't been really bad on this this map because it's, well, <laughs> smaller fields, you know. Thank you, Mateo. Yeah, it, he was pretty young too. He was 60-something. Uh, 60 67, I think. So, sad. Uh he had uh, liver cancer but and we actually went to a uh, a funeral this past weekend um, <clears throat> it was a man that used to go to our church his wife was my kids Sunday school teacher when they were coming up in church and uh, he had terminal cancer and he was 71 I think but you know it's kind of the same situation as my wife's dad and it's kind of hard for her at that funeral you know it's her first funeral since her dad's funeral so it's kind of kind of tough on her but she's strong though oh one thing I loved about this map too is like every map I've gone in and started like you can't plant anything right away you know <clears throat> excuse me because the ground temperatures are too cold and it takes until like the very last day of planting season to get anything planted it makes it tough this geo here has actually been relatively easy because like we were able able to plant seeds in the ground from day one you know so that that helps out a lot I was glad for that this little thing here in the middle is going to drive me insane. But yeah, just you know, jumping in the game and getting your fields ready, and you're right away able to plant some seeds really helps out. Because I've had I've run into instances where the ground temperature doesn't get warm enough until like the day after your planting season. It's like, come on, it's not even fair. Oh, I could have reached all of that. Oh, well. Alright, so I'm going to go right immediately after this, and we're going to go ahead and plant oats in this field here. And then we will go later over to field 113 and cultivate it and spread lime down on that, and then figure out what we will plant over there. And one thing I want to show y'all too is uh, right here. Let's turn this off. Right here where my silo is. Um, this was a grass field. This is technically. It's fine. This is technically field 44. Like right here, this little triangle. <laughs> I was like, this is not even a grass field, but it is listed on the map as field 44, which is kind of funny to me. So we just we put our silo there because this field didn't have a 
silo on it. What is this for? Well, I'll tell you what it's going to be for. This little alley here. It's going to be for our lime spreader for the time being. Now then, I wonder what... I know I looked at it before. So that takes 60 horsepower. Huh. So the Ursus can't handle that. Oh well. That thing's just... Excuse me. Too slow. So our Massey is going to get a workout today because it's going to be doing just about everything. And I think I have to refill this with um, with fertilizer too. Yeah, that's, that's going to be one cure when they find it. It's going to be huge because cancer is just... It's it's outrageous how many people suffer from cancer and die from cancer. My mom is actually um, a cancer survivor. She had uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma. It's cancer in the lymph nodes. And she has never smoked a cigarette a day in her life. Ever. And she is still to this day in remission. Thank God. But she also suffers from diabetes and you know, she's uh, neuropathy and all of that. It's it's tough. I gotta get turned around. But that will be, you know, I see everybody doing uh, like um, fundraising live streams. You know, for uh, fundraisers and such and uh, charities. That will be one that we do. Uh, in the future when I get enough subscribers you know we will do a a charity live stream for cancer research and I'm gonna be doing a bunch of them because there's my wife's brother died uh, I hate saying that word my wife's brother passed away at the age of 15 with uh, um, muscular dystrophy and now my nephew has muscular dystrophy so that will be one charity that we give to in the future as well Oh, you know what? We're going to have a strip of canola here because I forgot to change the seed. Wait a minute. Lift that up. Turn that off. What did I do? There we go. What was I saying? I said oats, right? Yeah. There we go. Alright, so we're going to have a strip of canola there, and then the rest will be uh, oats. Oops. Thank you, Rabbit Man. I appreciate that. Yeah, she's been hanging in there. That's a tough woman, though. i tell you that. When, like, I wasn't really too afraid of my dad with the belt, but my mom, when I came home, I knew I was in trouble. I didn't want to go inside. My mom was vicious, man, and I swore as a kid growing up, I swore that she worked for the CIA because there would be no evidence that you did anything and uh, she already knew what you did. She probably knew what you did before you did it. <clears throat> Will that work? I, you know, I'll try that. I'll go over it and replant it. I guess that would work. It makes sense if it did. We'll go. We'll run back over it when we get over there. But yeah, like... You had come home and, you know, I'm doing some of the stuff I did as a kid. You know, I, I'm, we might have all done it. I don't know. I don't want to say it, but, uh, you know, when your pupils are really dilated, you know? But you would come home and you wouldn't even look at her. And she would already know. And you weren't, like, trying to hide from her. You just walk in and go into your room. And she would ask you, what are you, are you? It's like, wow, how did you know that already? I just got home. It's like she followed you there or something. Alright, so where did I stop at? Like right past this tree, I think. Alright, well, we went back over it. One thing I noticed, too, on this map, like, you see the planting lines that go across the field? Like, they stay, like, in one direction, no matter which way you travel on the field. Hmm. 
But yeah, oh man, we're need a pressure washer. This is getting bad. Look at this thing. It's like looks like pudding, like chocolate pudding all over the tractor. Get out of the trees here. Don't miss it. Oh, I missed some. Oh, it's four o'clock. We're running out of daylight. I wonder if we can get that other field done before the sun goes down. And see, like, we've been... I've been streaming now an hour and a half, just about. An hour and 27 minutes, and it doesn't even feel like that much time has gone by. Hey, Philip, how you doing, buddy? Thank you for joining. <clears throat> how you doing today? Is that Philip Mosley? Yeah. Hope I pronounced that right. Yeah. I kind of felt the same way, Rabbit Man. And I'm pretty sure that when they when uh, Lancy Boy does release an update, this hopefully that's changed. Who knows? But I I know like when you update one thing, usually something else messes up, you know. So I, I try not to ask too much of these uh, modders and creators, you know, because it's, I know when I go to change my name in a system somewhere, it messes up something else. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's good, Philip. I'm doing good, man. Yeah, we're doing great. It's the first live stream and we're having a blast. I'm having fun. But... Uh, yeah, technology's weird that way. Like, you fix one thing and it just, it sends something else completely off the rails. And it could be a minor fix, too, you know? What animals on the farm? On this one right now, currently nothing. Um, we have, this is the, the sheep pasture over here that is connected to this farm, this piece of land that we own, so, um, that was one thing I forgot to start. We got to start a grass field so I can get some hay. Uh, when we get enough food built up, I will purchase some sheep for the farm. Uh, but I want to have enough hay built up for them because I've been prone to buying animals too early, not having the food they need, <clears throat> and they start dying. So that's 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 animal cruelty. We can't have that. Yeah, cows can be hard sometimes because. Like I was explaining it earlier, I will be, I'll have all the food that they need in there, and they're clean and have water, but their health continues to grow down for some reason. So cows can, can be quite complicated. I agree with you on that. So we're actually planting into the bushes there a little bit, looks like. Trying to get this little piece here, get this little piece here. Yeah, uh, animals can die in farm sim. You will, if you pay attention to, like, when you fast forward time and you look up when, uh, you know, the money comes out for your loans and, and your property income, stuff like that, it will let you know if an animal has died. And then you go into the animal menu and let's say you had 10, you'll go in there and look and you'll have nine. <laughs> and one of them will just disappear like they died. But yes, they do die. Is it only in seasons, Mike, that they die? I didn't know that. Of course, I've only ever really played with seasons on. Yeah, because I think it was on... Uh, what map was it on? When I was playing Stone Valley, like, I had... Uh, they had TMR in in the pen. They had uh, hay. They had grass, water. The can the the it was all cleaned, and I kept having animals die, and their health was continually dropping. I was like, what is going on here? I don't know if it was a a glitch or if one of my mods was interfering with it or what, but uh, yeah, it was crazy I was doing everything I could to keep them alive and it just wasn't working 
I, I, it's like, do I have to go give them a bath or you know, play with them and what? And if you did not know this, you, most of y'all probably would do, but it, if you buy horses or if you get horses, they don't really cost anything. But the way you make money with horses in this game is you purchase or you go and get the horses, you put them in your, your stable, and then you ride them. And you keep them fed, you keep them healthy. And the more you ride them during the day, the more money it brings you. Um, and it it goes into your account at, after midnight and you get more money the more you ride them around which is pretty neat we're, don't tell me I'm gonna have to go back and forth we're gonna go down this strip here and then uh, see what's left I'm not gonna go wait a minute okay there it goes This is a neat little cedar here. I like this little cedar. Oh, okay. Yeah, that that makes sense. I don't think I ever had one get over five years old though. Cause see, I'm like, I'm I'm about the new stuff. You know what I mean? So, I'm trying not to do this for the sake of the series on the channel, but. When I got to playing a map, when a new map came out, or it, same way with mods, if I've got a mod that I'm using and a new mod comes out and I have to replace it, <laughs> I usually replace it because I like the new stuff. You know what I mean? So like I I got rid of Stone Valley before I before they had a chance to get to five years old because new maps were coming out. I mean I got just the PS4. I don't have any external hard drive or nothing, so I'm very limited on space. And in fact right now my mods that I have installed from the mod hub it's it's all at a hundred percent I can't go get a new mod right now unless I delete two or three of them can't help myself alright so that's planted and fertilized oh you know what I need to get we gotta get to herbicide so I don't know if we'll get to that other field before the let me get in here before the sun goes down I think the we, we're going to use the Ursus, I think, to pull the the herbicide sprayer. I want to use it. What do I do with it? Oh, there he is. This is a neat little tractor for me. I like it. Start her up. Uh -huh. Sounds pretty cool. Any animations on here? I can't remember. Yeah, there's the fan. See the fan moving around? <laughs> pretty neat. And the exhaust shakes. I like that. I'm pretty sure this will pull that sprayer with no problem. We're about to find out, that's for sure. I like the mod that you get on uh, PC where you can like you hop out and you click whoa hello you click each individual little thing to hook it up you know I wish they had that for console that'd be awesome let's see here yeah thank you Philip yeah that's you know that's what really made me start doing it cuz uh, you know I only played on console and I, I was watching other people play and they were all on PC you know and it was like man there's no one cause like I want to learn stuff that I can do on the console you know cause everything you're learning to do it was all on PC you couldn't really do on console so I was like man I'm just going to start recording everything that I do so people you know can see like hey this works on console I want to try that I want to do that you know but yeah that's what got me to start recording actually is because I couldn't find anything I did it again. Left, right, drummer. Left, right. Okay. L1, then square. There you go. But, uh, yeah, I, I was facing that issue myself. Let's see here. What's that? Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was t 
took me a second. Y'all are going to learn I'm kind of slow sometimes too. But yeah, Mike, uh, the getting out and actually having to hook up each individual thing, yeah, it makes it more realistic. It would be be really good for console players. I wish they could find a way to make it work. Because like, you know, my role play series that I'm trying to set up on New Woodshire right now, I've I've kind of tested it out and went in and you know kind of did like the role play scenario, and it just didn't seem I, when I do a role play series, a lot of guys are you know more laxed, you know more relaxed in their content when they do a role play series. You know, like they'll come out here and be in this view and you know they just do everything. It doesn't really uh, bother them per se. But when I do a role play series, I want it to be, you know, realistic. You know what I mean? I'm I'm going to be in this view and this view only. You know, and it's I'm going to try to make it as realistic as possible. And uh, the way you hook up to trailers and stuff is just not very. You know, I'm trying to. I guess you can't raise that up. The way you hook up is just not really that realistic and it's bugging me, you know? And trying to do a roleplay series with the... I'm going to get it out, so y'all are going to see there's going to be some stuff that we just can't help because we're on console, but... Uh, that's going to be one that's recorded on Mondays when I'm home alone. There's no noise in the background because I'm not going to be in a tractor somewhere and you hear a kid scream, ah! you know, it's not really realistic. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta see. It's not really making, changing the color, so I don't know where it, I've sprayed yet or not. I don't know if I'm reaching all of it, but it'll be alright. But yeah, I'm trying really hard to make my roleplay series on New Woodshire uh, as realistic as possible. I'm actually proud of myself, though, because I took the time and went and created this farm. And, like, I had to change, you know, I had to fix the ground, uh, which when you're in the, um, what do you call that mode? When you're changing the ground and the textures and stuff, you know? Like, it drives me crazy trying to get that stuff set up. But I'm really proud of myself. I took the time, and I didn't get frustrated with it. And I did what I could to make everything work. And the farm I got set up, I'm, I'm, I'm actually pretty proud of it. I can't wait to show you guys. And But when I do get it started, it's going to be as realistic as possible. <clears throat> as realistic as I can make it. So... Hopefully you you all will enjoy that. Yeah, that's right, Mike. <laughs> Good afternoon, Thomas. Thomas Williams, welcome to the stream, buddy. How you doing? But yeah, I, I wish I could do a lot of that stuff too, but like you said, you know, we, we make the best of what we got. And that's what I'm trying to do is make the best of what I got. And when I say I want to get a gaming PC, I, this channel, I'm going to continue to do everything on console. Um, as far as the Let's Plays videos and, you know, role play series, such like that. I will do some stuff on the PC because, I mean, it's just, it, you get better content with it, you know. But I'm never going to leave the console side of it. I can promise you that. Um, but mainly I want a faster PC that I can stream really good with and I can do a lot of the video editing and stuff with um, and you know I want to play the game with you know cuz yeah I want the Chevy pickups I want the Dodge pickups I want the Peterbilt trucks you know I want all of it, all of that so I'll get it to play the game for myself mainly you know what I mean and I will do some things you know it's like a series you know hey this is a PC series and uh, <clears throat> you know, do like a role play series where you can be kind of more realistic, you know what I mean? Because that does kind of drive me insane that I can't be as realistic as you, as you can be on PC, you know? But I will never leave the console side.
Just driving and listening, huh? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you gotta listen to me. You know. <clears throat> oh man, we're having fun. We're just hanging out. You know, it's my first live stream. We reached, we reached a uh, hundred subs, which shocked me. That there's actually a hundred people out in this world that want to sit and watch and listen to me jabber all day. <laughs> but uh, having fun. And next next Monday, I should be able to live stream. Uh, with the uh, new capture card I got. So I should be able to live stream from OBS or Streamlabs, one of the two. And uh, we'll get that set up and up and going. Yeah, Mr. Silly P. That's, you know, he's really one that kind of, he's the one that inspired me really to, to uh, do this. Because I was like, man, he's on console. You know, and he's he's able to do all of this stuff. <clears throat> so, and there's just, and like uh, he said earlier, you know, there's just not a lot of people, sorry, I hit the microphone, that, that stream on YouTube on console. They don't stream this game on console, you know, so. Uh, yeah, I, I, that's, that's why I'm doing it. And Mr. Silly P, I was watching him, I was like, this dude's only on console? And I don't know that I'll ever be as good as Mr. Silly P. <laughs> so, hope no one's expecting that. But we're just going to do what we do, man. We're going to have fun with it. You're driving out of town to buy cigarettes right now because you live in Chicago. And they're like, yeah, boy, they are pricey up there, man. You ain't kidding. Oops, I'm trying to read and read the text and drive at the same time. This is why you don't text and drive, kids. Luckily, I'm on a video game for one, and I'm out in the field in the middle of nowhere, so there's really nothing to hit except that big World War II looking bunker, which I'm glad I wasn't nowhere near. Hold on, I'm going to read that comment in just a second. Let me back up. I can't back up. Oh my God, this is embarrassing. Come on. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We're trying to get this corner right here. There we go. Okay. So that's why I enjoy watching PS. Yeah, and that's that's what got me watching PS stuff uh, on YouTube. You know, PlayStation materials because that's all I play on. And you know, I figured if that's all people play on, you know, they're going people want to see PlayStation stuff on YouTube. I know I was having a hard time finding it. You know, besides Mr. Silly P, and there was another one, but he's doing more. PC stuff here lately. Yeah, Thomas. Yeah, we're on the same boat, man. Well, I'm glad y'all y'all found me and y'all joined me up. I appreciate it. <clears throat> and I'm actually about to try something quite interesting. Um, I was talking with uh, someone, and they live way out of the country, <laughs> and we're going to try a multiplayer like a little multiplayer test session and it's going to be interesting with the uh the time difference and you know we're we're doing it to see what the lag is going to be like with two people on on the PlayStation. So hopefully it's not too bad and we're able we're able to do that and make something happen. So I'm not going to say who it is or anything like that just yet cuz I don't know like if they want me to be announcing all of this yet or not. Yeah, that's a pretty neat idea, Mike. I I like that. Like I said, you know, if my son was more interested in games other than Fortnite and Call of Duty, you know, I'd try to get him on here and we would try to do something. Cause that that is a really good idea, man. You should go for it. I I would watch it. It'd be interesting. All right, so let's see here. We have this one needs plowing. Oh, that's why I, I need to go buy a plow. Oh wait, no, it don't need plowing. I know that's I didn't buy a plow before because I looked. And this one in 42 doesn't need to be plowed. 113, I think, does. This one needs more fertilizer. I'm going to have to buy liquid. Wait, no, that's perfect. It's just in certain spots. 
That's weird. All right, well, we'll get a liquid, some liquid fertilizer put in our um, sprayer here eventually and spray some fertilizer down. <clears throat> but I think 113 does need to be plowed. Let me look. If it doesn't, I'm probably going to buy a plow anyway. It does. Okay, good. Because there's this plow that I just installed this morning that I really want to use. And hopefully, like, the Ursus or something likes that. Like that, the Ursus or the Massey can pull it. Oh, you do, Rabbit Man? Well, that's cool, buddy. I'll have to look that up. I'll have to look you up and see. PS4 Pro. Can you answer me this? Because, like I said before, I'm not very technical savvy. What is the difference between PS4 Pro and, like, say, my PS4? Because I just got a regular PS4, I think. I, I couldn't tell you which one I got. Now, where is this mod at? There's the Alpine stuff. I put a new mod. You're getting a PS4 on Friday, Mike? That's cool. I don't know what the difference is between... Like, I, I don't, mine might be a pro. I couldn't tell you. So, the plow I installed this morning, I installed two of them. And they're not here, so I wonder if they're in cultivators, maybe. But I could have sworn it said plow. Yep, there's one. So this is a cultivator. It's not a plow. It's not going to plow my field up for me. Oh, mainly just the graphics? Huh. My graphics seem pretty good on the TV. I don't know what they're like on the stream for you guys. From the little window I got in YouTube Studio, it looks pretty good. If it gets better than that, I might have to get me a pro. So, well, that's disappointing. Maybe it's one in sub... Doesn't a subsoiler do the same thing as... Yeah, to see a homemade plow prepares to... It can be used instead of a plow. Okay, so we're going to use this one. That's $5,000, though. Woo! I'm running out of money. What was this one? This is a cultivator, though. I can't really use that. 900. See, I wish that one... <laughs> I wish that one would work. This little thing here would be pretty neat. Wait, that's just a plow, ain't it? It comes with a roller. But it says it's a cultivator. I could have... I could have promised you that in the... Mod Hub, that said a plow. I could be wrong, though. Oh, that's a bummer, Mike. That's probably what I got is the Slim. Pretty sure that's what I got. Well, let's lease this one, I think, and see see what it does. What color do we want it? I'm kind of thinking like a... Not a crimson. Like a brand... No, ooh. Crimson, no. Let's, y'all want to do pink? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not doing pink. Closs, closs, garlic, dirt, pink, uh, olive... John, do you know what? Uh oh. I gotta find. Oh, here it is. Hang on one second, y'all. I just got a low battery notice on my controller. So I gotta plug this thing up. Y'all's screen might go blue for a second. I wanna make sure this is charging. And it is. It is charging. Okay, cool. Alright, so... I do too, Philip. I really hope that when... If if the new FS comes out and I have to buy a PS5 earlier than I wanted to or, you know, needed to, I'm going to be kind of upset. I don't know what I want to do here, y'all. Onyx is good. That'll work. And it said this could be used as a plow. I really, I don't want to spend... Hold on. Let me back out. I'm not going to change the color because I need all the money I can get. $5,000. Oh, man. I could lease it and just do it later. Like, buy one later. 
that's what we're gonna do because I need I need money I need to save as much money as I can oh I didn't look before I did that oh my it takes 90 horsepower okay so we could use the Fiat on it we could not use either one of those darn it I really wanted to use that Ursus on it that's all right we will um, we're not gonna plow right now excuse me because it's getting dark so we're gonna run since this is the fastest piece of equipment I got that can bring that plow back we are going to run up to the store and pick up that plow and let's do this let's speed up time I don't have a sleep trigger yet so we're going to speed up time whoa hello mm. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I'm not the best driver in the world. I can promise you that. Oh, what does it say? Oh, is it still making the little feedback noise, Mike? I may just change controllers if it's too bad. I got another controller, but it's just kind of... <laughs> the analog sticks are more messed up on it than this one. Yeah, that would be a bummer, Philip, if uh, you just got your Xbox last... Because, I mean, I've only had this PlayStation. <clears throat> the first one we had kicked the can like Mike's did. And, and uh, just got this one a year and a half ago. Two years ago, maybe. Got a little humming noise. Whoa! Hey, the road. All right, one second. Oh, there's a car. Boy, we are causing a ruckus now. These people are screaming at me. Go back to the States, you moron. Okay, hang on one second. Okay, so I just unplugged it. Um, it's got one bar now. But uh, if it gets too low, I will just I'll just use the other controller. Make sure the noise went away. It gone. Cool. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Wonder why it did. That's just weird. See what I mean? Like when you go to change something, I just plugged in a charger. You know, <laughs> charge the controller, and it just it messes up the uh, the audio. You gotta change one thing, and it throws something else off the rails. That's right. I hope this. Yeah, this other one charged all night, I think. So it should be alright. But it just kind of. It's used. We'll put it that way. <laughs> oh, and I noticed something too. Um, this stretch of road that we're on, on this map, like from where we just turned at to where we got to go turn up here. There's never any traffic right here on this stretch of road. Never. I have yet to see a car on this road. This stretch of it anyway. So like if you're playing this map and you're having to haul some equipment back and forth, this is the route I would take. This is the route I take. Because there's no traffic. Just that one road that we turned off of back there, when you go up and down that road, uh, you know, you have some issues there with some traffic, but... You barely deal with traffic on this route here. And I like that. Oh man, so get this plow and we're gonna use it one time and then return it. We'll buy a plow later. I need to I wanna go in the mod hub and find me a excuse me, find me a good plow that I can use. And I thought that one I installed this morning said plow, but of course, this one we could use too, though. Just later when I got the money to buy it. Because I already took out a loan to buy that field, which I shouldn't have done because I had the money to buy that field, but I bought that tractor instead. Of course, that was when you know I came back into the game and it was all kind of different because when I left it the last time, it didn't save, so everything was not the way I left it, which is quite frustrating. But that's all right.
we're still going to get a loan when we need to get a harvester. Uh, and we're going to purchase a harvester. That's what we're going to use our loan for. So We'll be borrowing some more money later, and we'll pay it off next year. We'll pay some of it off. I don't know if we'll get all of it paid off. I'm actually surprised myself. I'm doing good driving on the right side of the, you know, well, the correct side. I'll put it that way. The correct side of the road. I thought for sure I'd be, you know, driving in the live stream and trying to be over there on that other side, and everyone's like, "Hey, you're on the wrong side of the road." But I've been, I've been keeping up with it. <laughs> yes, the uh, 6M Lizard is. I will admit is the best plow in the game but uh, you know I use it so much and for the sake of our let's play series on here I'm trying to use you know like stuff that they actually use you know what I mean and these little bitty things right here is what they well this I don't know if this is an exact one that they do did I buy the correct thing you guys this was the homemade plow, right? Because I know I was looking at that other one and was confused of why it was a cultivator. I think I bought the right one. But yeah, you see the stretch of road we're on? That traffic right there, they're all about to turn right. See? All of them are going to go down that road. They do not come down this stretch of highway right here. So I use this to go back and forth every time. See, they all turn down here, so... Just when you get down here, it's kind of a pain, but the sitting in a very long road I should take their back window out right now just get out of my way whoops you know that they, they honk at me so I'm gonna honk at them oh <laughs> in the process we lose our plow <laughs> thank you Philip I appreciate that buddy we enjoyed having you here come back and see us sometime man I do do appreciate it. Now I gotta get this. Oh man. Okay, we're gonna have to turn around and flip this thing back over. Alright, come on. Let's uh flip this back over. There you go. I was trying to honk the hornet them people because they're always honking at me. Oh, we gotta slow time down. And uh, I released the hitch on the uh, oh, plow here. Uh-oh, here comes traffic. Yes, <laughs> Mike, I am. I promise you, I am going to wash this thing. I was trying to get all the work done first. But, uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to wash this thing. In fact, we might we might do that as soon as I get back to the farm here. Look, that looks pretty nasty, don't it? It's, it? I mean, it's so bad. It's coming. Look at the steering wheel. It's all over the inside now. Oh my god. My wife's not going to let me back in the house. Oh man. Lights are still on. Turn those off. <clears throat> but yeah, let's get back and wash this thing up. Let's uh, buy a pressure washer. And someone told me, I forget, forgive me, whoever was the one that commented this in one of my videos, but uh, there is a pressure washer that you can pick up by hand. It's a mod, and I think I know where it's at. We're going to go try to find it. I'm going to look back in the comments on my videos and find out who told me that. Whoever that was, thank you. Thank you. Oh, really? yeah? Well, go check it out, Philip. Um, I'm having a fun time on Indiana, and it's a nice map, too. It is really nice. In fact, that's probably going to be the one that we spend most of our time on now. Poor Ravensburg and Bucks County. Don't stand a chance now. We'll still we'll get to all of them. But, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying Griffin, Indiana. Alright, where... Oh, it was not... Come on, drum. i got to learn these buttons. Now, I think the pressure washer that you can move by hand... and uh is it yeah it is it is like it's like a pc map and it's really really neat 
I'm really enjoying it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think this is the one, because this is the one that's on the palette. So this is, obviously, because it's on a palette. Y'all forgive me. Um, so we're going to put this right there, okay? Bought it, it's $4,500, and hopefully I think you can still. Look at that. I can pick it up with my hand, my hands, like I got one hand. And we can just move it wherever we want it. So whoever told me about that mod, thank you so very much. Yeah, uh, that is awesome. All right, here we go, Mike. You got the soap? Wait, Mike. Oh, wait, this is a single player. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we're washing her, Mike. We are washing her. Doodly-doo, doo, doodly-doo, doodly-doo-doo. This might take a while. She is pretty dirty. Oh, we got the forks to wash too. Scrubby dub dub. <laughs> That's right. Scrubby dub dub. Massey Ferguson in the tub. Oh. Thomas Williams, I apologize. Hang on, I gotta scroll up and see what your last comment was. I just, it's like I didn't see Thomas Williams coming here. Oh, let's see here. Also, don't know what rules you have set up or this series because I missed the beginning of the stream. Uh, rules. What you mean, rules? Right now, I'm I'm streaming from my PS4, so this is a, a <laughs> this is like a freebie stream. I don't have really any rules set up because I'm just on the PS4 having a good time, man. There's no rules in this one. Just no cussing. I'll I'll say that. Let's be nice. Yes, me and you both, Rabbit Man. I am pleased. Bucks County is coming back. Although I still have it installed, I could still be playing it, but just to be fair to everybody involved and not to cause any more issues with Giants, I haven't been uploading it. <clears throat> Alright, we are all cleaned up. Probably should have turned the sprayer back on myself because as dirty as this cab was, I'm probably pretty dirty myself. And I forgot that dip was there. But yes, Thomas, this the uh, Griffin, Indiana map you're talking about. Yeah, I love that map. I'm enjoying uh, enjoying it myself as as well. Did I? Oh, there's that. What am I bringing this? What am I doing, guys? I am so lost. Oh, plow. Yes, plow needs plowing. We're gonna plow this. I forgot, and I turned the tractor off again. That's going to be the counter we have on my live streams. How many times does Drummer turn off his tractor when he's not supposed to? Alright. We're going to wear the starters out on this thing. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, we're just going to plow. I forgot I already spread lime on this field. And I can't see over the seat. And it's just... Hmm. Wait, wrong, wrong menu. Here we go. I want to see if this is plowing, but I, I can't stand that I can't see over that seat. Wait a minute. Go back. Hmm. It's cultivated. It's not showing, because it looks like it's just cultivating it. Now, in here, it says that this can be used as a plow instead. Wait, where's that? Oh, least items. Hello. It can be used instead of a plow. But it's not plowing my field. So let's try this. Do I have to change something? Y'all forgive me. I'm learning stuff. Lift cult. It says it's a cultivator. Go figure. 
do, do, do. We're not going to turn the radio on. Don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, I don't know, man. Dang, chat got you all out of whack. Yeah, it does. I'm not used to having to watch chat. You know, I'm just recording and talking usually. I'm not used to looking over here and keeping up with the chat. Uh, you just mean as far as equipment, what are you going to use, whether or not you're getting loans, whether it's season stuff. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Thomas. Yeah, um, so I, I started out this series with, uh, as a start from scratch. Um, I'm not going to cheat in any money. Um, so you didn't start with really anything to sell. Like, you know, you, if you start on a new farm or you got all this equipment, you can sell and you can sell all of your seeds, your, your grains, I mean, and your silos. I wasn't going to do any of that. Um, <clears throat> I did change a couple of things, though. I'll show you right quick on items. So when I started this map, I had this Fiat tractor. I had this trailer, this cultivator, and it had a couple of silos <clears throat> and this silage shed right here. So, um, and it had an Amazon cedar, which I basically traded for this one. Uh, I think this one was either five thousand or seven thousand, or five or six thousand, brand new. I can't really remember. So I took the Amazon cedar, sold it to buy this one. And what else did I sell? I sold the two, uh, the two silos. And I think that's all I sold. The silos were empty, so I didn't really get a whole lot of money for those. Um, but yeah, I just I sold all that. Now, as far as the loan goes, the only I do have a loan out right now because I came back, and the way I left the map, it was not the way I left it <laughs> when I came back and started this live stream today. Some of the stuff I'd already kind of purchased and moved around was gone. So, anyway, I do have. A loan out right now because I just purchased this field that we're on now the only loan I will take out after this is harvest time to purchase a harvester so and then I won't get a loan again until you know I pay that one off that'll be a kind of a rule because I'm trying to work with what I got you know what I mean so um, yeah that's pretty much basically it Just see that front tire slide? That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, sorry. Um, pretty much it. Just there's there's gonna be loans allowed, I guess, as needed. I'm not gonna sit here and you know stack up the loan and you know, get a million dollars and just purchase whatever I want. I'm not gonna do that. So this is not working as a plow, like it says it will. So that's an issue. So that was a waste of time. Let me turn this back off, by the way. There we go. So we'll return that. Because it's just cultivating. So let's look at some plows here. Oh, let me come back to the uh, comments. Sorry, guys. I'm trying. Uh, Rabbit Man, yeah. Yeah, that's cool, man. Go ahead. That is fine. Now, I will tell you, Rabbit Man, I... I'm always showing as offline because you know if I'm not recording I usually if I'm on and I'm not recording anything I will show as online <clears throat> but you know all the uh, notifications you should get people inviting you to parties and stuff like that um, I try not to have that on when I'm recording so but yeah that is cool with me man go ahead <coughs> excuse me I had to cough two hours and 11 minutes we've been streaming and it does not feel like it and y'all are still here well a few of you a few of you still here thank y'all so much y'all are y'all are awesome probably got kind of boring there for a minute though all right so we got to find a plow and this is in plows but that's 32 th good lord good googly moogly i don't have the money for that one so we're not going to plow right now you guys Although, how much is it to lease that one? Let's see. You can lease it for $1,600. That looks like a pretty serious machine. We'll get it one day. So, we're not going to plow right now. We'll just kind of head back and find something else to do. Hey, Mateo, welcome back, buddy. Oh, haven't really been able to actually watch since I've been driving, but just got home. 
Okay. Well, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to watch YouTube and drive at the same time, isn't it? See now when a uh, uh, PS name is Drummer Farms, just like you see it. Uh, it's all one word. The D and F are capitalized. So just Drummer Farms. No, oh, no, you're not interrupting anything, Thomas. That was fine. Someone else probably didn't know either, so probably informed someone else of what we were doing too. And I did. I took off like the really huge implements that I use on uh, American maps like the uh, John Deere C the you know the big grain cart and air hose drill yeah I do not have that installed on this map because I would be very tempted to try to use it <laughs> and it would be a disaster trying to get it in these little fields what do we have for cedars no I gotta look here in a second uh, do I like hockey? Actually, I do. Um, I love hockey. We have a little, uh, I don't know what you call it, a, I guess a minor league hockey team uh, here where I live. And um, I love. I take my kids to that. We watch it all the time. It is really, really neat. I do like hockey. Uh, yes, I do actually make silage. And somewhere, where's it? There's a silage, but I haven't found it. i got to find it. There is a silage bunker around here somewhere. I don't know if it's on this farm or if I have to uh I just received that rabbit man so I will go and take care of, I'll accept that here after the stream but um there's a silage bunker around here somewhere it might be on another farm I don't know we'll have to find it but yes we we will make some silage and I saw Argzy use something the other day and I want it on console did y'all see that he had a a, a silage bag maker like implement it was really cool. I want one of those. We can just line up a silage bag like right along the edge here somewhere. All right, so enough rambling. What was I? Y'all know what I was doing? I was trying to, I was going to hook that Massey up to the planter, to the cedar, so we can go to 113 and put some seed in the ground. And look what I did. I like got out of it like I was done. I'm not ready to stop yet. We're having fun. There's six people in here again. <laughs> I'm having fun. I don't, I'm not ready to stop yet. We've been going for 2 hours and 14 minutes. Might go for another 2 hours and 14 minutes. Who knows? Although I do have some things around the house here. I do have to get done though. Because <laughs> I am off work today. I got to put a fence up. And I was supposed to go today and uh, get the uh, quick creek to put in the ground so I can put the fence post up. And that's something my wife expects to be done today. <laughs> so I will have to do that at some point. <coughs> I don't want to get in trouble. I won't get in trouble, really. But, you know. Like we said earlier, happy wife, happy life. Right? Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. No, Mike. This one. <laughs> no. This tractor here might have a hard time pulling that John Deere air cart <laughs> and the or the uh, grain cart and air drill air drill. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Can't even talk. Yeah, it would. <laughs> you know what? Now I just want to try it just to see like what it looks like. <laughs> I just want to see now. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> well, thank you, Rabbit Man. <laughs> Potatoes or sugar beets? Hmm. <clears throat> you know, I really... I haven't bothered with them yet, um, Mateo. I did, however, uh, install the, the, the new Grimmy pack, if I said that right. So I am going to get into potatoes eventually. I do want to give it a, a, a try. And that's actually something um, I'm thinking about trying on this series. Maybe not in this stream today, but, you know, on this series here on Oak Hill, we may be getting into some potatoes.
Ooh, that barely fit through there. Did y'all see that? Rubber tire kind of bumped it a little bit. Ooh, is this... Uh-oh. And it just fits. Look at that. But I did just wonder, however, the fence over here with no gate. <laughs> Are we going to get this in here? Is there another entrance up there, too? There might be. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Thomas. I I, I better get that done. Uh-oh. Oh, we just went through some bushes. That's all right. All right. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, turn off. What am I What am I doing here, guys? Okay. We got to go into this menu here. And let's see what else I want to plant. So I got oats and canola started. I do I want to do one of those again. Or let's see here. What can we let's go with this menu. <clears throat> I know wheat and barley doesn't really sell for a really high price. Uh not gonna do cotton. We got a thing of oats and canola. Don't have a planter yet, so we can't plant sunflower, soybeans, or corn. Excuse me. Y'all, I apologize. That did not mean to do that. Oh, alfalfa. That's what I wanted to get into. How much is alfalfa? Or not alfalfa. Rye. Which one do I want to do? Hmm. Alfalfa or rye. Let's see what they sell for. Let's see here. Go down here. That's bales. Okay, so rye sells for let's see about six thirty, six twenty per thousand liters, maybe. Alfalfa Renro, yeah. So we'll just do some rye because I've never done it. So I will just try to get, and it's pretty straight across the board there with prices, isn't it? All right, so we'll just do uh, we'll do some rye. Oh, I can't see the white lettering on white uh, lime doesn't work out good yeah all right so rye we're putting some rye in the ground now and we're off well, there we go hey six people watching and six likes that's not bad <clears throat> but if y'all are in here and you have not liked this stream please be sure to hit that like button for me before you before you head out of here i'd greatly appreciate it soybean is in the cedars and yeah uh wait is it hold on return oh dad gum it there it is again turn it off dual shock battery level low okay well we'll fix that in a second oh it is in the cedar well I feel kind of now. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Yeah, it is. It is in the cedars. Maybe we can. No, I won't do that. Yeah, we'll get into soybeans next year, maybe. That'll work. Whoa, Thomas, you have five daughters? Holy mackerel. My My heart goes out to you, brother. Five I have five kids, but only two daughters. <laughs> Separate time, then. Post and drum, great stream. Bye, everyone. Stay safe. Hey, all right. Thank you, Rabbit Man. Enjoy that supper, man. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much. We'll see you around. Yeah, you're right, Mike. That is the uh, that is the money beans right there. Soybeans. They they do bring in some good money. So. <clears throat> we got the uh, we got the rye started, so I'll I'll continue with the rye because I've never done rye, I've never got to harvest it or anything, so this will be kind of kind of neat. And we'll get some soybeans in later. I was going to say a while ago that you know I could just borrow some more money, <laughs> and buy another field and put soybeans in it, but we won't do that. I don't need to borrow so much money. I'm going to try to keep the loan down below 500000 and we still got to buy a harvester, so 
and I'm gonna have to get a loan out to buy that harvester. So I would lease one, but I don't want to lease one. I want to own it. You know what I mean? So we will uh, save our money, save our loan for the harvester. This is the one thing right here, though, I do not like about the Massey. Is when you're in the cab view and you turn back to look at the edge of your seat, you can't see over that seat. See, I'm already over the edge. It's, I just That's the only thing I don't like about this Massey. So um, I will be saving this stream later. Um, it will be published, I guess you could say, because uh, this will count as episode two of the <clears throat> Oak Hill series. And I think we're going to wrap it up here soon, probably after we get done with this field here, because I do got a few things I need to do. <laughs> I got a fence I got to go put up. And uh, I want to try to get an episode, maybe two, recorded so that I can, you know, publish throughout the week. You know, I maybe have two videos to put out this week because I don't ever really get to record during the week. Really, I mean, not really. Every now and then I come home and record for about 30 minutes. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to get those done today so I don't have to worry about it this week. So hopefully I can get that done. <clears throat> but man, this was fun. Yeah, I'm right there with you, Thomas. Uh, I have a 13-year-old uh, son that's about to be 14 on the 27th of this month. And I have a 12-year-old daughter that will be 13 in July. I have a 10-year-old daughter that will be 11 in April. And then I have twin boys that just turned two back in January. Yeah, they were the twins was a uh, was a surprise. It was a surprise to find out we were pregnant, or she was pregnant. I, I wasn't pregnant, <laughs> but you know it was a surprise then. And then to find out that there were two of them in the oven was just like wow. Okay, there's a cheap old John Deere harvester on the Mod Hub. You can pick up when the time. Okay, yeah, I'll have to look that up. I, I'm I'm gonna have to go in and and uh, delete some of my mods because it takes up a hundred percent of my storage. I can't install any more mods from the mod hub right now unless I delete probably two or three of them. I have a lot of mods installed, and I I promise you, I use every single one of them. I'm not one that just has a bunch that are sitting back there that don't get used. If it's installed, well, besides some of like the DLC packs, you know, there's some stuff in those packs that I don't use. But like if it's a mod I installed off the mod hub, I guarantee you I use it somewhere. And I I had to go through and uh, since I've gotten rid of Stone Valley, there were some mods that I was only using on that map that I got rid of, <clears throat> and I had to get rid of. Uh, a few other things just to get this map here installed this map Oak Hill by Lancer Boy is a fantastic map but it is it was pretty big I think it was what was it 500 and something megabytes to download three or five hundred something like that I can't remember but I oh we're out of fertilizer all right let's go get some more fertilizer but um I had to delete delete a pretty good amount of stuff in order to get this map installed but I will go look at that, Mike. I'll go find that John Deere. It's a cheap old John Deere harvester. Is it... You know, I think I know which one you're talking about. Is that the one that you can, like... You can choose to have the cab on it or not have on it? Is that the one you're talking about? Oh, get up the hill, baby. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think we're going to make it. Yay, we made it. Whoops. Alright, let's see here. I think, yeah. I think that's... I think I know which one you're talking about then. Whoa. Man, I wonder if Lancey Boy drove around, or his map tester, 
uh, drove around with with this cedar in tow, making sure it fit. Yeah, it's never a dull moment at this house. I can promise you that, Thomas. Never a dull or quiet moment, except for today, because I'm home by myself. You know, they're at work and school, so it's pretty, pretty quiet. And the, the twins are in daycare, and it's weird, because like I told the wife, I said, "You, you want to leave the twins here with me?" I, you know, whoops, wrong button. I said, "I'll keep them today if you want to keep them here," but she was like, "No," because. Like, they're only allowed to miss one full week a year or they get kicked out because there's so many kids that want to, or so many parents that want their kids in this daycare program. And, like, they're only allowed to miss a week per, you know, physical year. And we have a vacation coming up in July where we're going to be out of town for a whole week. So they can't really miss any time at the daycare. So that's why the twins are at daycare today, even though I'm off. It's not because I don't love them because <laughs> they gotta go it's weird though that's like but that's that's how long the waiting list is for this daycare it's a really good daycare here in our area and everybody wants their children in it so <clears throat> and the prices show it too I can promise you that yeah that, that'd be nice Mike not to have to take out a humongous loan because most of these harvesters are half a million dollars <laughs> So, yeah, it'll be a good starter. That's what I'm looking for, you know, starter stuff, because basically we're starting out this farm here, even though I'm, you know, American, and I don't know if I'd ever go over to this part of the world to start a farm. <laughs> but, yeah, you know what I mean. I'm wanting to start with smaller stuff, you know, starter equipment. I can't see where that fence is. There we go. All right, so yours are tw wow, Thomas, twenty-two, fourteen, thirteen, ten, and three, and they're all girls, huh? Wow, man. Whew, buddy, I feel I, I don't know. My two girls are a handful, and from what, what in the world? Uh, who was it that tell me earlier? I think it was Philip that was saying earlier that it, you know, with my girls being my oldest girl being thirteen. It only gets worse from here. <laughs> it's like, yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate that. But my 13... Well, she's... Yeah, she's almost 13. She'll be 13 in July. But, yeah, she just... Um, she just reached that woman error. You know what I mean? I am really shocked, you guys, that this stream has held this good of strength. Like, I'm surprised it stayed intact this long. I was really worried when I was getting everything set up. I was like, man, this thing's going to crash 10 minutes in. It's going to be a train wreck. But it's actually turned out pretty good. I've been having fun with you guys. Two and a half hours. Does it feels like I started ten minutes ago? Of course, that's like that. Even when you're just playing farm sim, you know, you could be out here, you know, in a field on this tractor for hours on end, and before you know it, you know, and it feels like you just started. And you're like, man, I've already been on here for five hours. <laughs> what? That's why my wife says you're you're on that game all the time I'm not on it all the time and then you look back and you're like yeah actually I, I have been on it this whole time <laughs> can't help it man this game is addicting for one and it just it entraps you in it doesn't it well thank you Mike I appreciate the info there on that that's that's actually helpful I'm surprised it's only had to buffer for you two times. You know, I would have thought it was a higher number than that. You yes, a hundred percent agree, Mike. I even tried to tell my wife that she's she's not buying it, but yeah. If I if I had a bad day at work, I came home and plowed up a field 
and planted some seed in it or just got into a field started a new map just to get some harvest work done you know <laughs> and and just sit there and go back and forth taking down this these crops and it is a huge huge stress reliever I know what you mean and your first grandson well congratulations on that Thomas I better not have a grandson for at least oh 30 more years <laughs> I say that now but you know I'm sure grandchildren are great and it's you know when you get to that age it's nice to have grandchildren I know my mom enjoys the heck out of it <clears throat> but they better be at least 25 or older before I have any grandchildren that's what I've told them so you better not even think about kids until you're 26, 27, heck, 30. Of course, I say that, though, from experience, you know, because I had kids. My first kid was, I was 19 when I had my son, or when my wife had my son, sorry. I didn't have the kids, she did. <laughs> well, I wish my wife would get to understanding Mike. I've tried to show her, but she just... My wife has no interest in this game whatsoever. She, she's she gotten to where she makes faces at me now. Like if she comes home and I'm on the game, she kind of comes around the corner and she's just like, Ugh, you know, and gives me this look like, really? How did I know this is where you're going to be? <laughs> so I can't help it. Babe. This is what I do to really, I don't drink anymore, you know? So this is, this is my stress reliever right here. In fact, I bet you this game actually saved my life. It it, it probably saves me from drinking. All righty. And then you load up and you see total time played on just that one map. <laughs> yeah. Right, Thomas? Exactly right, man. It is like, wow, I did I was not playing that long. There's no way that I've had this much time in this map. But yeah, you, you is that a ridge marker, guys? What does that do? I just now that's the first time I've ever noticed that do that. Huh. I can't do it do anything else except go in and out, so I don't know what that Huh. That's a pretty neat fence. I found the fence. Uh oh. I just had this thing come up. It said chat disconnected. Please wait while we try to re the stream is frozen. There we go, we're back now. The stream froze for a second, it looks like, while I was stuck on this fence. <laughs> oh, now I'm stuck on a tree. See, I should have ended this stream in the uh, in the field there. We are stuck, fellas. There we go. I got out of it. I got out of it. But yeah, I don't know what happened with this. The stream's kind of messing up now, so... And we finished planting this field so that seems like a good place to stop uh mike thomas thank y'all for hanging out as long as you did i appreciate all y'all's comments it was fun uh i told mine to look there's no violence no cussing there's no fighting no arguing just get me a tractor in the farm that's right yeah buddy but thank y'all so much for joining me um oh you buy another cedar and hook up to the oh okay that makes sense yeah thank you mike that's actually a really good idea. There's the other one. We're going to do that one day. <laughs> We're going to buy some more cedars and hook up. Well, thanks, guys, for hanging out. What in the world? I do appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and end the stream here. Oh, my gosh. I'm about to get stuck again. There's another way out of here, I think. We're going to end the stream. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, and from you know, for future reference, Mondays, if there's a live stream, Mondays will be the live stream days. Um, so, yeah, this was a successful 
live stream I feel. I had a good time. We'll be doing it again soon. Probably next Monday. So y'all be on the lookout for that. Yeah, I'm going to have fun with that fence. I'm actually, I'm going around. <laughs> I'm going to go around and take this back to the farm. But, uh, yeah. Thank y'all. See you, man. It was a good time. Yep, I appreciate it. Y'all take care.